This is Stark, and in this video we are looking at the new look policy under Eisenhower. So when Eisenhower took over from Truman, there was a large amount of continuation of Truman's national security policy. And Truman's national security policy was that the US should keep sufficient influence within Western Europe in which they should create a collective Western defensive strategy. The US must also retain influence in Asia and the US must have a strong nuclear arms collection and conventional forces to counteract Soviet potential aggression. However, there were some policies that Eisenhower rejected. Firstly, he did not commit to the expansion of conventional forces as he thought they were too expensive and he also rejected the idea that containment was sufficient in preventing Soviet aggression. This is because containment had led to a stalemate in the Cold War. Now for this reason, he introduced some new policies to complement containment and this was known as the New Look Policy. So the first policy is rollback. And John Foster Dulles, who was the US Secretary of State under Eisenhower, was convinced that the security of US interests and the guarantee of international peace was dependent on reducing the power of the Soviet Union and their communism. So this idea was that the US should roll back communism and this became a fundamental part of Eisenhower's New Look policy as an alternative to the restrictive model of containment. Nevertheless, Eisenhower never actually attempted to undermine the USSR's sphere of influence or liberate pro-Soviet states, so there is not much evidence to show that rollback was used under the Eisenhower administration. So the next policy in the New Look policy was massive retaliation. And both Dulles and Eisenhower saw containment as an expensive strategy which would require a global reaction. Now this could be shown by the expensive military intervention within Korea where there was multiple countries coming together to fight the communists. Now seeing as Eisenhower believed that US society and economy could not take the strain of a large defence budget, nuclear weapons were seen as the cheaper alternative to maintaining a large conventional army. Now, under Eisenhower, nuclear weapons were seen as the most effective method and the cheapest method of winning the Cold War, and the NSC 162-2 report of October 1953 emphasised this particular view. And leading on from nuclear weapons, the final policy was called brinkmanship. And this is because Dulles believed that the USA's nuclear arsenal could be used as a diplomatic tool as well as a source of deterrence against a Soviet attack. Now he believed that an American nuclear superiority would force agreement from their communist opponents. Dulles also believed that it was essential for the US to be able to reach the verge of war without actually starting a war. And if the US failed to do this, he believed that they would lose the war. So thank you for watching. That's the New Look policy under Eisenhower, which had significant importance when Eisenhower came to office in 1953. See you soon. Bye.